an elite ex-soldier working as a mercenary who was hired by an extreme environmentalist group called Avalanche to assist in breaking down the Shinra power grid systems that sustain the city of Midgar through eating up the planet's resources. His original one-time gig becomes an ongoing mission aside Avalanche supporters that include his childhood friend Tifa, who has now grown up and managing a bar in the slums underneath the elevated Sector 7 plate that houses the wealthier citizens of the city. After defeating a major enemy boss that physically propels him through the roof of a slum church, Cloud meets Aerith, a spunky flower peddler who isn't afraid to speak her mind or help her neighbors, who immediately hires him as a bodyguard to protect her against capture by the Turks, an FBI-style agency managed by Asian Legolas of the very company destroying the planet's resources. Aerith's authenticity is hypnotically attractive to Cloud, and he represses his feelings, along with repetitive visions of the ultra-enemy Sephiroth, as Aerith and Cloud join forces to rescue Tifa from a perverted, fat, rich guy in a ghetto version of Las Vegas. After some house hunting, stargazing, stage dancing, and dress wearing, Cloud and Aerith reach Tifa and confront the fat guy who throws them into the sewers to die, but not before disclosing the plan to drop the Sector 7 section of the upper city plate onto the lower slums, which will inevitably kill everyone above or below it. So they rush through the sewers and a haunted train graveyard to Sector 7 to sound the alarm for the people to evacuate, and Cloud and Tifa climb never-ending stairs under gunfire, pausing for dramatic death scenes of friends along the way, until they reach Barrett and his stretched out Jack Skellington tattoo at the top and try to beat up the Turks before they can activate the falling of the plate. Unsuccessful, they hop a makeshift zip line to safety as Sector 7 is destroyed behind them, and then they rush to Aerith's house where Aerith safely brought Barrett's adopted daughter before allowing herself to be captured by the Turks in exchange. Cloud and company learn there that Aerith is actually the lone survivor of the ancient and magical Cetra race, and head to Shinra headquarters to rescue her, where Tifa does gymnastics, they visit a museum, see a vision of Aerith's ancient race, avoid security detection with the help of an old mayor, rescue Aerith, and team up with a talking dog creature to navigate the maze of a mad scientist named Hojo. As they fight through Hojo's lab, they notice an alien torso has disappeared, so they follow the pattern of cool purpley blood to a fight with the Shinra president, who dies, fight with a clone who looks like Sephiroth, who dies, but who also stabs Barrett, who dies, but then doesn't die, and then an annoying fight with the president's son, who doesn't die. They make their grand escape with Cloud on an over-the-top motorcycle and the rest of the party in a wussy baby truck, and then they drive to the edge of the city, determined to destroy fate and rewrite their stories. In an epic battle, complete with bosses in primary colors, tornado rock jumping, and duking it out with Sephiroth, the team wins the fight and in turn reveals that not only is Biggs of Avalanche still alive after dying in the battle to save Sector 7, but a soldier named Zack didn't die either. <sighs> That's the gist of it. Hope everybody's warmed up. <laughs>